right, y'all. We're heading to the hives on the soybean field. This is Byron, also known as Run Dog. Hopefully I'll get here and the bees have finished cleaning up all the burr comb. They finished cleaning up all of the uh, mess that I made the other day trying to rehive them. It's possible the farmer will be picking the soybeans. I don't know, but I just thought I'd take a look before I get home. I really wanted to get back out here this weekend and swap the other two boxes around. However, we're going to be camping this weekend, so the bees will have to wait another weekend. So y'all stick around. I'll see you at the hive. All right, we have not picked the beans yet. So I'm just going to slip in here and see how these girls are doing. I came by after church on Sunday and just took a peek. They were still cleaning up the burr comb. I am hoping that they are through now and I can pick up those few pieces of broken equipment, throw them out of the way. I've got a few boxes in the back of my truck. I think I'm gonna leave them here on the site. We're going camping this weekend and I don't need to have the boxes in the truck. And I got a good tip off of YouTube, a guy out of Australia named Jeff Harriet. I don't know how to say his last name. There's a lot of boxes here that are damaged, one or two sides. He takes the boxes and breaks them apart, salvages them. So maybe I can do the same here. I don't know. I'm not hurting for equipment right now, but I hate to see a good piece of wood just go to waste. So we'll see. All right, it is October the 18th, almost six o'clock in the evening. It's a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful. I suited up because uh, YouTube people said, wear what makes you feel comfortable. I feel comfortable suited up right now. These bees have been defensive. However, I have kind of rocked their hives a little bit. So, I just want to take a look. For any of you that are watching these videos, this, these are my very first hives. They were given to me. They were just out here abandoned. The guy said I could have them. Go take care of them. So that's what I'm doing. I have no clue really other than YouTube. Um, I read some good books. I think they were good books. They helped me. There's hive number one. They're doing good, looks like to me. There's hive number two. Three and four. So they look good. This is some of the equipment laying around that I'm going to possibly salvage some of it. This is some that I've already salvaged and I'm trying to reuse. There's some more over here. I really don't know what all I can reuse, but once I get the bees taken care of, uh, I might try to salvage some of this equipment. I am going to drop off the equipment that I have in my truck uh, back there because we're going camping this weekend. So, as I'm walking around, I'm going to try to just be slow and easy. I do think I'm going to have to change out this top box. I'm at least going to have to repair this hole. are still pulling honey out of it. Looks like it. Um, so many vines around here. Keep getting picked up. I'm gonna try to maybe help the bees a little. Well, it's 
too good. I'm trying to pull this apart. Maybe they can get in here a little better. I did kind of make a big mess. I don't know what all's in here still that they might be after. But maybe if I spread it out, they can get to it a little bit better. That hive is next. What a mess. That is a huge mess. So these are some bottom boards. I can't remember how we came about these. I think my boys and I, we found this one. Yeah, we found this one. Put a two by four on the bottom, we put a reducer there. Um, that way when I, if I strap it up and move it, I don't know. Maybe if anyone watches this video, y'all tell me if you would move these hives or not. I was thinking of moving them to the house so I could take care of them better because I am a beginning beekeeper and I don't I don't really want to have to drive out to a field every time I want to work my hives. However, there's a large soybean field here. Again, these beehives sat here for four, four and a half years. There were originally four on this pallet. There's another pallet there. I don't know how many was on it. There are a few hives in those bushes there, and there are some hives there. So I think there were 15, 16 hives here at one time. Poison, I think I've got that all open. So right now the bees seem to be okay. This saw seems to be kind of cleaned up. I'm going to pick this stuff up because I think it's just trash. I don't want to keep leaving it. It might attract things I don't want. So, okay. See you guys later. This is Run Dog. Hoping for the best. Talk to y'all. Alright, I think I pulled all of these frames. The regular deep frames, plastic cell foundation. And I think I'll be able to save these and reuse them. And what I'm going to do is my little girl who is seven, she wants to have a beehive. I think what I'm going to do is clean these up, <clears throat> maybe put a new wax coating on them, and I'm going to make a long laying hive for her, like a horizontal hive that won't be very high, she won't have to lift boxes, but she'll be able to work with the bees, so we'll see. That's it for tonight. Uh, none of the boxes were salvageable, they were destroyed. They were just too bad, they weren't worth saving. I'd come out cheaper just uh, buying new wood. The site, though, as you guys have seen already, the site's the same. There on the right is the pile of boxes that I kind of went through, pulled the frames out of. There, immediate right with bees on the face is number one. There's a pallet I brought over there with a little stack of boxes and lids and stuff there, so I can come back and work the next available day. Y'all have a good evening. This is Run Dog for Running Dog Apiaries.